Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 symbol for four. So today guys I'm gonna talk to you guys about Barcelona season as a whole So today we're gonna be reviewing how this season went for Barcelona We're gonna go through all the competitions very briefly. This will be a short video probably around five minutes I'm guessing and we're gonna go ahead and do this now We're gonna do a little bit more in-depth analysis probably on Saturday when I have some guests come on for Barca fans um, and we're gonna go ahead and do it. So if you want to come on, you're more than welcome to. Just hit me up on Twitter or in direct messages on Discord, and I'll give you the link. And like I said, guys, it'll be right after the Real Sociedad game. So it'll be 5 p.m. Eastern time if you're in America, and I believe that'll be 11 p.m. Uh, Sp Spain time, I believe. So like I said, um, I'll leave a link. I'll leave an annotation here on the side if you guys want to participate in that. Um, see the live stream there. Anyways, let's go ahead and give my general opinion first. I think if you're a Barcelona fan, you should feel proud. You should feel ecstatic what Barcelona done this season domestically because this is the it's it's been four years since Barcelona won La Liga, and what Xavi has done in this short span of time because remember guys he came in last season middle of last season and has rectified things and put us in second place ahead of the likes of Atletico Madrid Sevilla who were comfortably ahead of us, you know, even Real Betis as well, you know. And this season, what he's done has been phenomenal. We have done it amazing this season. And this is the second season without Lionel Messi. It's incredible that we've been able to win La Liga in this kind of short span of time without arguably one of the greatest players of all time. You know, And we all know Lionel Messi was influential for Barca to win those leagues. He was that difference maker. He was able to conjure up something amazing. Look at the 18 and 19 season. He was phenomenal that season. I mean, he scored, like I believe, 50 goals. I believe that season, like I think at least 50 goals. That was an amazing season. And I just feel like for me, what we have been able to do in this kind of spam has been incredible. Defense will be been amazing. Attack has been, um, you know, Lewandowski has been that main guy. And you have to give a ton of credit to Xavi. And yes, you know, we did make some big transfers this summer. You know, we brought in Jules Kounde. We brought in Robert Lewandowski. The thing is, though, other than Lewandowski, we didn't really have any high proven world-class players. You know, Lewandowski is probably the only world-class player that we really, we really brought in this summer. You know, and the fact that we've been able to do so well this season has been phenomenal. You have, you have to give a massive shout out to Ter Stegen, who's kept 24 clean sheets. That's been an insane record. Frankie De Jong, who's been amazing in the midfield, I think has been one of the most underrated players this season, dictating the play. Obviously, Pedri's been phenomenal as well. You know, Rafinha as well. I think we got to give some praise to Rafinha because yes, he may be, he may not have that, uh, he may not have that technique as we Barca fans expect. He's been at least efficient in front of goal. And you have to give credit because we've had a lot of injuries. We had to deal with injuries. You know, we had to deal with, um, you know, Alonso and Garcia at the back. And they made us through. And we had to, you know, we had to go through adversity. You know, Lewandowski didn't play a couple of games. We had to put Fati in the striker position. And it just, you know, we had to go. We had, it wasn't an easy task. We had to go through the situation. And you have to give Xavi a ton of credit in the fact that we, how comfortable we were able to win this league. We won this league, I believe, um, very easily. And that's the shocking thing is that you would think Real Madrid, with the quality of players they have, because I still believe Real Madrid have a superior squad to Barcelona on paper. It's just that Real Madrid didn't get the best out of their team, whereas we did. And that's a key difference is that you can have the better team all you want on paper, but Barcelona got the most out of their team, whereas I don't feel like Real Madrid did. And when it, we were able to win this league in a comfortable margin, whereas Real Madrid didn't. I think we won like, I think 14 or 15 points clear. You guys can correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. I'll probably edit here in the when I'm editing this video. But um, it's just been incredible to see what Barcelona done. Now, my only negative with the season is the Champions League. That's the only slight negative I have with the season, and that's why that's my only way I can't say it's a great season because you cannot go out of the group stage for a club of Barcelona's magnitude, for a club of this stature. You simply cannot go in the, out in the group stage. I don't want to hear the excuses whatsoever because. That group was a very doable group for Barcelona. You know, and yes, I understand it was a difficult group. I understand Inter Milan is in the semifinals, likely going to be in the Champions League final. I understand Bayern Munich is pretty much our dads at this point. You know, they they pretty much own us. I understand that, but there's no excuse and for how we went out. We went out like chumps. We didn't go out and the way we wanted to. And considering how many investment, how many how many players we brought in the summer and the managers that we have and everything. We should have been get, able to at least get second place. Because we got to keep in mind, guys, Inter were not great that time. They, they just come off a loss against Roma just before we played against us. And that was at home, guys. Inter were in terrible form. you know. And the fact that we've been we've been unable to get out of the Champions League group is, is not great. you know. And we have to improve upon this. So 
overall, like I said, it's a great season. I'm going to give the season probably a 7 out of 10. I'm fairly satisfied with the season. But like I said, though, we're going to have to improve a lot, especially in the Champions League, if we want to have a great season next season. Because like I said, man, we simply cannot go on the group stage. So I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Like I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, guys, we're going to be doing this. We're going to do a little bit more in-depth on Saturday. And we'll also do our player ratings as well. So, you know, it'll be a big, big stream on Saturday, guys. And I'm really looking forward to it. So like I said, guys, if you're new out here, consider hitting the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment below your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you guys check out my other pops in the description below. And yeah, like I said, guys, because here we go. I'm a member of the channel. Turn on vacation to be notified, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.